G'day guys, welcome back. I've got a reduced area here because I've got my other piece just drying under that plastic box there. I'm going to have another go at the 3D Bloom, um, but I'm waiting an extra five minutes this time, so I'm going to hang out till 40 minutes before I start piping and see if I can get a better result. I haven't turned that one out yet, but it did look as if there were a few little blobs on the end. So I'm using the Platinum Ultra, and I made up for this little coaster. It's just a 13 centimetre. I made up uh, 85 grams of A and 40 grams of B, and it's sitting in there. It's getting warm. I've been taking its little temperature. And let's see what we're up to now. I like to pour it into the coaster when it gets to 50 degrees. And that does depend on A, the size of the container that you've got, because it'll heat up a lot faster in a like a, a narrow, tall container. Um, and also, obviously, the temperature of your room. Okay, we're at 50. 50.9. Fifty 51. Right. Let's get this show on the road. So in here, I'm going to put in 30 grams of resin, and that's going to be for my white. Mm, 20. I probably don't need 30, but I'm just going to do it anyway. 30. There we go. I'll get rid of the scale. And then I need a little bit for my center. I'm going to go with green today. I don't do much with green, but let's try a little bit of green for the center. Again, don't need very much. It's just, just for the middle. And then the rest can go in here. So it won't keep heating as fast in here because it's more shallow and it's much more wide. So it won't heat up it won't, I mean, it'll still continue to heat up as it sort of starts to set up, but it won't do it as fast as it was before. Let's clean the stick, clean my bowl. I can use my bowl again. Just wipe it out. Here we go. And we are done. No point waiting too long until it all sets up, hey, and then you can't get the resin out. Right, clean my hands with a baby wipe. And let's torch bubbles. I can see a few little bubbles around the edge there. I'll see if I can get them out. If I run the stick around, hopefully it will encourage them to come up to the surface. I'll just leave them for a minute, see if they'll come up. Let's put a little bit of green in there. Let's see if that will be enough. Mm, probably not. I probably put too much resin in there, actually. So yeah, I thought I'd do some green for the center and then a darker green for the um, the top layer. So we'll see how that looks. And now. I'm going to put 10, no, uh, what am I got? One ounce. I'm going to do seven drops of Cast and Craft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I always slice about half off the top, maybe oh, maybe a third when I get it, uh, when, I, when the new bottle arrives. Otherwise, it's just too hard. You're squeezing forever just to get one drop out. So I just slice a little bit off. It makes that nozzle a little bit, the hole in the nozzle a little bit wider, um, and then you can easily just get your drop out. That's what I do anyway. All right. How are we going for time? We're only on 35 minutes. This is when I would normally start piping now at 35 minutes, but as I said, I want to push it just that little bit longer and see what happens if I get it at 40. Might not work, and then I've wasted. Wasted my resin, hey? There's my little piping bag in there. Oh, I'm going to torch again, wasn't I? Just to see if any of those bubbles came up. Mm, don't know. I don't think I can see anymore now. Right, let's pour a little bit of this out. I put a black mark on the underside 
I measured where the half would halfway would be or the center would be and uh, put a little black mark there so that I could see where my center was good idea hey let's give that a bit of a, a stir around hopefully that's the middle I just got some more bubbles from doing that so let's torch and we'll pour the white in here it still doesn't feel thicker like with some resins when you do that it leaves like a little mound oh no look it is leaving a little mound a little tiny mound good because before when it's just like normal resin it was just like dropping straight and it wasn't leaving a mound at all so I like it to I like to wait until it leaves that little mound and you know that it's starting to thicken up a bit okay alrighty but I do want to as I said I want to wait a little bit longer I want to see if I can get to the 40 minutes I'll put that there hopefully it's not going to be too too hot starting to get warm but I'll twist that off when I get my bag I always cut about that much off the bottom otherwise it's hanging out and sometimes I've dragged it through the coaster so I just cut some off and then I also like just twist it and fold it under there like that so that um, right, it's feeling warm but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it I've still got two minutes to go um, let's talk about the um, the top coat shall we while I'm waiting so this was the closest green I could get to that and it's got like a goldy hue in it so I thought wouldn't it be nice if I put a little bit of this gold sparkle in with this for the top coat so that's what I'm going to do this is the Arty Sue it's called Army Green and then this one is the Gold Super Sparkle by Color Passion so that's what I'm going to do for the top coat uh, now this should be all right to um, to do a top coat in about two or three hours yeah, it's, it's hard to touch it's still really bendy but you can you can touch it so I'm gonna do that Ooh, it's nerve-wracking waiting you guys let's torch again when you put the the glitter in and stir it all the bubbles come to the surface so I just keep an eye on those so what I thought I would do is do um, I'm hoping to get maybe five or six rows so one two three four mm, maybe I'll try for five hey see if I can get five rows and see if that'll work all right just killing time here one minute to go it's not getting too hot which is good I'm being very patient waiting 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 now let's just cut a little bit off if you just squish the top like that so that you've got some empty space and let's just do that's about I don't know can you see that it's about two to three millimeters wide I guess And it also depends on how much pressure you give it. So it should maybe just drip out slowly and then like this long train and then it kind of springs back. And then that's when I think it's ready. It springs back. Okay, so let's do this and we are on 40 minutes. So let's hope it works. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. And see if I can actually get it round this time in a proper pattern. I'm going to go up. See, I'm not going to stop and start because I don't want to like overlap too much. Am I off center again? I'm always off center. Every time. I don't know what it is. I guess I could just take my time. Here we go. Now this one, I'm probably going to have to do another row over on this side because there's more room. Whoop. 
shapes. So you always get a little bit of extra room left. Wish I had another one, I've got more white. Okay, here we go. That'll do. Yay! Okay, a little bit of a torch with my heat gun. Go round and round. See, it's not moving very much. If it's moving a lot, then it's too, um, too thin. I'm going to push the outside in a little bit. Go around in the middle again. Push the outside ones in. enough. Once I see them starting to expand and like bloom, then then I stop. If you're torching and you know your your resin's doing this, it's flapping around all over the place, it's too thin and you need to wait until it's had a chance to thicken up a little bit. Because you could see like I was doing that and it wasn't really moving very much. So it is doing its thing. It is blooming. So hopefully it's going to work. Yay! And um, if you saw my previous one where I did with the blue, I was saying, please don't all close up because I'd like to see some of the blue background, but it just all closed up anyway. I haven't unrolled it, it's under there. But um, I think all you'll be able to see is a little bit of blue around the edge. So I'm hoping that all these don't close up. And that's why I'm just going through my thought process here with you, if you're interested. That's why I've waited the extra five minutes to see if maybe a thicker resin won't allow the resin to move so much and to close in so much if it's thicker. So that's that's my thought process. That's what I'm hoping, that I might still be able to see the, the green through. If not, if it still all just closes over, I might wait another five minutes and try again at 45 minutes. Because see, these ones over here have closed over already, like pushed in. So I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But it's so far it's looking good. Actually, I'm not going to take my gloves off because I have to clean up. I always take them off too early and then I've got all this sticky stuff that I have to clean up. Right. Um, I'll come back to you in about half an hour. And uh, we'll see if it's changed much, okay? So we'll see you then. Hey, guys. It's only been about 15 minutes, but um, it's all closed over. <laughs> Just like the last one. Which is... A bit of a shame in one way because I would have really liked to have seen some of the green poking through um, but I've got these little points on the end so whether or not they go a little bit blobby I'm not sure they haven't gone at the moment they're just a little bit pointy so yeah I think I'll I'll do what I said and and I'll do it again and we'll go for 45 minutes and um, and see if that's any any better because I just want to keep going until I can try and get some background showing through. Mm, don't know. I've seen other people do it, so it, it is possible. I just don't know how. <laughs> or maybe I'm making my petals too small. Maybe if I make bigger petals, that might work. If I make bigger petals and then there's more room in between, so even if they they do sort of come in like this, you know, push in, um, then maybe there'll still be room if I do bigger petals. So. I'll have a go. Anyway, we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll come back in a few hours and we'll do a top coat on this one. Right? See you then. I'm back. It's time to do the background. So I've got a little bit of resin here. Uh, 55 grams. Uh, what do I do? 55 grams of part A and 25 grams of part B. And this is, you know, like a little bit of a... It's a bit of sort of limey green because it's got a little bit of a gold look to it so as I said before the Artisu army green and because I put the gold um, sparkle or silver sparkle in my previous one and it took over the blue I'm not going to do that with the, this one I'm going to add some um, gold sprinkles so let's do that this even this has got like a little hint of green of gold to it so I think that would be quite pretty Put some of this in. I'll see if that's enough. I can always add a little bit more. 
give that a stir. So I didn't particularly want them to be exactly the same colour, but in the same sort of colour range would be good. I think the problem with putting the the um, glitter in though, it, I don't know, it sort of gets taken over, doesn't it? You don't really see it. Let's put a bit more in. <laughs> and whether or not it'll all sink like my silver did, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Can you see gold in there or is it just coloured? I guess you can see a little bit of it, but it kind of just gets disguised by the green all right I think that will do let's pour it in goodbye little flower hope you turn out pretty oh that's too much oh my gosh that was a bit much didn't need all that and we level yes I did level my table oh I didn't think we'd need all that okay quick torch um, and that's that's it. Like, this is not very interesting, is it? You can hardly see any gold in there, but anyway. Um, now we we'll just have to wait for tomorrow and um, do the unmolding. See how it looks in the morning, hey? Alrighty. So that's it. Um, I'll be back in the morning and we'll unmold her. Right, see you then. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's morning for me anyway. <laughs> right, let's have a little look. Oh, two tiny little specks of gold sitting on top. So there we go. Not much to see there. But let's get this out. Come on, out you come. Oh, it's always the first bit that's a bit tricky to get out, hey? And you think, oh my God, it's stuck. But it hasn't. Now, I hope this one works because my other one... Oh, it's in the other room. I didn't bring it because I've been taking photos of it, my blue one. Um, yeah, it was a little bit blobby on the outs on the back. Let's get him out. There we go. All right. Oh, I want to look, but I don't. Because I'm always a bit upset if it doesn't work because you put so much, so much time and effort and, into it. But we have to keep practicing, don't we, if we want to get them right. Oh, it feels quite thick. Let's have a little let's have a little peek. Why aren't you focusing? Mm, doesn't know what to focus on. Alright, without further ado. Ready? One, two. You sure? Are you ready? Three! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Look at that! Wow! Oh, look at the gold sparkle in there oh wow i love that oh my gosh I'm so excited i love that oh, wow doesn't the outside match the inside really well even though it's totally different different color oh my gosh so it still looks a bit like a a flash like <laughs> you know a starburst I guess it's because of these long, you know, these little pointy bits where I've, I must have been where I come around, down, and then I go back up again, and then down, and then back up again on the same spot. So that's got double of the white pigment. But like, if it wasn't like that, it would be quite boring, wouldn't it? Wow. Amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Wow. I'm just hooked on these, you guys. So I hope you don't mind if I do some more. Um, I want to try one with bigger petals and see if we don't get these lines. But oh, I actually love them. Oh, my gosh. So happy with this one. What do you think? Do you like it? Let me know. All right. Oh, my gosh. Love it. There's not enough loves in the world. Wowzers. All right. I'm going to take a photo of it and um, do my video and I'll put it up for you and I'll move on to another one and I've got some other shapes that I want to try instead of just petals I want to try something different so I'll right, we'll see you for the next video thanks for watching guys hope you love this as much as I do bye